Okay, so if you follow my page at all, you saw that this summer I was training for a half marathon um, and then I was having problems with sciatica and I got, there's no way around it, I got scared. I got scared that the half marathon was going to injure myself and that I'm not going to be able to ride the bike or work out or anything like that. Um, so I, I bailed on the half marathon, um, and it's bothered me since, since, but I kind of like pushed it away. And then this past month for November, I really focused on showing up for myself. If I said I was going to do a workout or I said I was going to do a double, I would do it. Um. And I did that, like, all month long. I mean, we're December 2nd, and tonight I did not want to come down and, and do a run. And it's like, no, I'm showing up. Like, if I don't run, that's fine, but I'm showing up. And so I showed up, and I did what I planned. Um, I didn't run, but I did walk. And I decided halfway through that tomorrow morning I'm going to complete my half marathon. Now... <laughs> I live in Wisconsin, so it's going to be 23 degrees as the high, so I'm going to be completing it on the treadmill, um, which I'm sure haters are going to hate. They're going to say whatever, but I'm going to complete it on the treadmill. Um, tonight, I'm going to make sure everything's charged. I've eaten very well today, fueled my body for it, um, and yeah, I'm going to make sure everything's out. Um, I'll set my alarm. I'm hoping to complete it in like three and a half hours. I, I think that's realistic for me. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I've never ran more than a 10k and I've only done that once. So, and I haven't really done too many long runs. Um, but I've done a lot more runs in the last, the last month. So, I think that's where we're at. We'll see. We'll see what the morning what the morning brings so um yeah I'll post the the peloton workouts that I plan to run to I won't be like following the workouts but they'll be in my ears um and we'll go from there so wish me luck all right so I'm up it is not working 528 my goal was to start at 530 the dogs are a little, a little crazy this morning putting them out, so I'll probably get a little bit of a late start because I have to warm up yet, but, um, yeah, here we go. I can't believe I'm going to do this, but here we go. It is, in case I don't post this for a while, December 3rd, 2022, and outside it's super windy, and I think it's like 29 degrees right now, so, yeah, and that's... 5 30 in the morning so I'm hoping it'll take like I'm my goal is under three and a half hours but I have enough music picked out for like four and a half hours just in case so all right and this is what I decided to wear my black Nike leggings I have my Nike bra and then I think this is an Under Armour shirt it's super cute in the back so, and of course I'll have gold toe socks and my Brooks, and the treadmill is a Soul 63, F63. I'm not going to lie, I kind of hope that I break the treadmill on this and then maybe I can get the Peloton tread. Yeah, I know. So, alright, peace. I'll just... 5k done, so like a fourth of the way. The only plan I had going into this is to run the first 5k and then I'm hoping to beat my 10k time, my 5k I bet by t beat by 10 seconds, but just resetting, like my heart rate come down because it was like way too high and we'll go from there. I'll check in later. I wish I would have brought a second hairband because I hate when it flaps on my head and chapstick. My lips hurt. Let's go. Okay. Four and a half miles in. I didn't get too far, but that's okay. I have 
I feel my chai energy. I'm a little disappointed because I thought for sure I grabbed the apple and cinnamon, my favorite one. This one's blueberry. It's not bad. I'm gonna get me through this, but running on a treadmill, way harder than outside. Like, way harder. I have to like make my brain go somewhere else. Because I got the same thing to look at. I can't like do my running tricks like finding 20 red things and 20 orange things. Um, I can do math and count steps, but not the same as running outside. But like what? A little over a quarter of the way there. So I'm hitting just coming up on an hour. So we'll check in later. Okay. I hit my 10K in 82 minutes exactly, which I think is four minutes slower than my best 10K, but I'm still on pace to hit half marathon in three and a half hours. So, all right, I'll check in later. I am just over seven miles in 94 minutes-ish, which is way faster than I thought I was going to do it. Um, so I have like 5.2 miles to go. Less than a 10K, like one and a little bit more of a 5K. My legs have gotten to that like, they don't exist, they're just numb. Um, my feet have a little bit of hurt. I think I need softer socks. I finished almost 32 ounces. I have another one for my second Chai Energy. This one's cafe mocha, not my favorite, but it's two times caffeine. So that's why I picked this one. I have some beans. I don't think I'll use them. They kind of give me a stomach ache anyways. So I got pop punk on and I'm ready to finish this last 5.2. Check it. I know I suck at math. Eight miles in. Now I have 5.2. One hand. I have one hand. One hand left. I am like just over two hours, I think almost nine and a half. My tread and my Fitbit are like off on miles a little bit. And fun fact, my tread resets its time at 99 minutes and 99 seconds. So, but it does keep the mileage, which is nice. And I did start my watch. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't die, I forgot to charge it last night. So I have a half a mile and then I have and then I have a I got runner's brain, I can't think. I have a 5k left. So anytime I have like a negative thought, just remind myself like I don't have time for that. Like you gotta get going. I just shoot it away. Which is a lot easier said than done. I've worked really hard on my, my inside voice. I also messaged some friends. It's like, hey, I'm doing a a half marathon on the tread and I need some encouragement so that definitely helped. I have amazing, amazing community. Um, I have made really great relations. My abs are sore, my shoulders are sore, um, my legs are still numb, the balls of my feet are pretty sore. Um, I think I just need softer socks. Uh, and I'll have to look. I'll take a look. I think I think 10 miles is the most that I ran, um, and that was back in July. This is the most I've ran since July. The most I ran was like two miles and a half, maybe, maybe, in the last month. So, we'll see. All right, I'll check in closer to that. Also, my sciatic started to act up around like mile eight and a half-ish. Um, I was like, I think I need to walk. I was like, why? Why are you choosing to walk? I was like, because I can't. And I was like, that's not a good excuse. So, in my head, I was like, my sciatic hurts. And I'm in pain. Yes, I need to walk. But just because I feel like I can't is not a good enough reason to walk. So, all right. Close to 10 miles. These are really long miles. Really long miles left. 
the balls on my feet are killing me. Everything else seems okay. I mean, like, I'm sore. I'm soaked in sweat. But I got this. I'm so close. I'm coming up on 12 miles. Last check in before I'm done. The window, as you can see, like, sun's coming in. Bottom of my eyes. I should wear sunglasses. Um, my lower abs are killing me. But I got just over one mile to go. So, not giving up. My butt is starting to like cramp up. Not bad. Just enough that I can feel it. So, we're at. Ow! And I keep hitting my hand on the side rail. So, just under three hours. I got one mile to go. I did it! I'll jump on after the vacuum's done. I did it! Ah, so I just took 20 minutes and I just did some really long stretching. Um, my feet are killing me. Those socks were not soft at all. <laughs> um, my joints are a little stiff, like outside of the typical like running motion. They're really stiff. But my muscles are pretty numb yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I did two gels. I had a third one and I probably could have used it, but I was really worried because my stomach hurt. Um, and I think it was more like my abs, my lower abs were killing me the last two miles. And then I had, I think, five beans. Uh, actually, I think it was four because one fell on the treadmill and it like skidded off. So, um, and then I finished just shy of 232 ounces um, so yeah I'm going to finish stretching shower and then we have a, a full day packed so it'll be fun uh, yeah I'm super happy that I did it um, I did reach out to some friends and I was like hey no one knows I'm running a half marathon today and my inside voice isn't being being very nice can you help me out so they they shot me some encouraging messages, which was amazing. Like, the community that I have surrounded myself in um, is just great. And what else was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. I did it. I don't have to hide the, the half marathon shirt anymore. Worried that someone's going to be like, oh, you ran a half marathon? And I'd have to be like, uh, no, I hurt myself. I did it. So I think I'm going to wear that shirt today. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it's the day after I ran the half marathon. Um, I am super sore. I don't know what I expected, but I think I thought like the next day I'd be fine because I'm always fine. My joints are so stiff. It's not really the muscles. Um, I used the massage gun yesterday and I stretched. But my joints, like my hip joint, my ankle joints, they're just so painful. So I'm going to do a recovery ride, <clears throat> some mobility, and then some stretching, and hopefully that will work. Um, yeah, yesterday I was starving, so I ate like all the food. So, but yeah, that's it. I don't know what's next. I said I wanted to do a, a full marathon in 2023. Um, I think I need some time to just figure out if that's what I want to do or not because yesterday was just half of that so we'll see um I mean I'd love to like qualify for the Boston and do the Boston or the New York or the Chicago Marathon or something like that but it's a long ways I mean I think and people will probably come at me but I think tread running is way harder than outside I mean you have like elements of the weather not included but like it was hard. Like, you have nothing to get your brain outside of, like, focusing on running. So, we'll see. I definitely, if I if I decide to do the marathon, it will not be on the tread. No way. So, alright. Well, that's all I got. So, hopefully, I'll have the video up either today or by the end of the week or something. So, Alright guys, make sure you subscribe and follow along to see what is next on my journey. So I came on here just to show you that I don't always look like complete crap. Just kidding, just kidding. 
Now I came on here to kind of like update you guys on how the next few days went after the half marathon. So it's the 8th of December now. And Saturday I ran the half marathon. Sunday I got up and I was super sore. Um, and I kind of, I figured that I would be sore. But what I did not plan on was being sore for the next like two days. Um, my ankle, I don't know if I did something to it. But the tendon was just, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it was a tendon. Um, it was sore, my hips were sore. And so I actually did nothing for two days. Like, nothing. I mean, stretching and, and stuff like that. Which is not like me at all. So that was, that was kind of shocking. Um, but going into training <coughs> back this summer... Like, I had watched all the videos and seen, you know, do long runs and things like that. And, like I said before my last run, um, like, real run was in July. I had done, like, two, two and a half miles here and there uh, since then. But, yeah. And the sock thing, like, I don't know. Those socks, they were terrible. Terrible. Don't wear gold toe socks on your half marathon. So... But I did it. I'm proud. I still have not ran yet since. Um, I've jumped on the bike and done strength and done some boxing and things like that. So we'll see what's next. Thanks for watching along and, and following my progress.